Okay, on the left we have Maya 2024, and on the right we have 2025. Some of these renders have been sped up just so you're not sitting around just waiting for some boring spheres to render, uh, but that'll be denoted in the middle. And the first test is a CPU test, just kind of like a baseline. And you can see in 2024, it was one minute and 31 seconds. And then in 2025, we had one minute, 30 seconds. So slightly faster. Next up, we switched everything over to the GPU. This has also been sped up by seven times. Now, whenever you have a scene and it's the first time in that specific scene that you set up GPU rendering, uh, it has to compile. It has to compile all the materials, all the shaders, and that process can take a long time. So on the left in 2024, we had one minute and 42 seconds, and that is with compiling and also rendering that frame. On the right, it took 35 seconds. There's such a significant drop in that compiling speed, which is amazing. That's really, really a good thing. Next up, we have just a normal render. This is obviously after everything's been compiled. Default settings, no compiling. Maya 2024 took 13 seconds and 2025 took 10 seconds. Now you might be thinking, well, that's not that huge of an increase, but just imagine doing a 15 minute render or something. You will be saving many, many seconds, if not minutes of render time in 2025, which is awesome. So next up we have GPU rendering with 10 samples. So on the left, it took one minute, 47 seconds. And like I said before, we are speeding things up in 2025. So this took one minute, 35 seconds. Is it the biggest change in the world? No, but more speed is always better. So thank you Autodesk for making this happen. Let's just keep making this better and better and better. That is always a good thing.